Soul Fusion was released on October 19th, 2018. This set introduced a handful of powerful cards as well as the Thunder Dragon archetype. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. I don't know if I can take much more of this man. 2018 was unquestionably one of the worst periods in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, rapidly oscillating between unbelievable combo decks that play at a mile a minute and the least fun advantage engines you've ever encountered, N-Gage into N-Gage into N-Gage. But the worst part of all of it is that we're losing. For some reason, we can't string a Goki combo together to save our life. I know I'm rusty, but come on! Doesn't the deck carry me a little bit? Well, this will be one of our last opportunities to do so because what we're playing today is, in my opinion, the final form of this archetype, Dark Warrior Goki. As you saw in previous episodes, Goki has an immense ability both to refill its own hand and to perform incredible combos provided you draw a Suprex and an additional monster to summon off of it. However, not every hand does that. You saw a number of them where we only found one name, or in some cases, no names at all, and were unable to get the ball rolling. What's more, the Gokis open you up to specific points of interaction. Imperming the Suprex is all but a safe bet, given that without a junk forward on the field, it's unlikely your opponent will be able to get to Isold without something like a Blue Mountain Butter Spy. Because they all add cards from your deck to your hand, this deck becomes very susceptible to Droll and Lockbird, which is being played in Skystar, the other very popular deck. So as duelists brainstormed a way to beat these unbelievable breakers, they came upon an old friend, Destiny Hero Malicious. This card, along with the dangers, which could turn the unfortunate scenario of drawing a Malicious into an advantageous one, enabled a style of deck that seemed to never stop comboing, no longer wholly reliant on the normal summon, able to generate four or link material from a single normal, or in the case of Dark Refer, a special. This is, in my estimation, Goki's final form. And unsurprisingly, it comes with all the trappings that made Goki such an unfun deck to play against. Topologic Umblar Dragon, Summon Sorceress, and Friends. We've got Armageddon Knight and Dark Greffer, uh, the latter of which can be special summoned by sending a Malicious to the graveyard in order to start combos. Some duelists were even playing Vision Hero Vion during this period. It wasn't super widespread and would become much more popular when Dark Warrior just became Rongo Nimiad Turbo, but for the moment, we are trying to get a Malicious into the graveyard exceptionally early. That enables us to go for an ice hold without having to trigger any of the Goki effects, and using each good Goki once, instead of loading up on Bear Hug and Rescorpio, which frequently bricked you, we can play just the two Octo Stretch, uh, one for the summon off of ice hold and one for the Link Haribo, a Headbat, a Suprex, and a Twist Cobra. Each refills itself exactly once, and they're kind of combo starters in their own right. Of course, we've got Junk Forward, Danger Nessie, Danger Jackalope, and Chusinoko as well, and the Neospatial Aqua Dolphin and Nightmare Corruptor Ebly make a return from the previous build, alongside the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots, which is a great way to get another material onto the board with a Phantom Knights of Shade Brigandine. During this period in Goki Thought, as you can see, individual cards were being played at one just because it was expected that if you found enough starters and extenders, all of which were hard once per turns, you couldn't possibly brick. Credit where it's due, this is the least bricky version of the deck that I've played. For spells, we've got two Called by the Grave, DDR, Phoenix Blade, Rematch, Triple Instant Fusion, Living Fossil, Midbreaker Field, Reborn, Reinforcement of the Army, Soul Charge, Double Twin Twister, and Triple Shade Brig. And in this side, we've got Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, Book of Eclipse, the third Midbreaker, the third Twin Twister, Infip, and Red Reboot in the extra. We've got Raijin, Firewall, Isold, X2, Cerberus, Double Mermaid, Phoenix, Unicorn, Link Haribo, Proxy Dragon, Summon Sork, Gumblar, Trigate, and Underclock. And you could expect to make most, if not all of those, over the course of the game. Hopefully, we will finally be able to take a W with Gumble Loop turbo 
But once you see what Alex is playing, you'll wish we could both take the yo. Well, I'm not particularly excited that Joseph's playing another Goki variant. What I'm excited for, though, is that we get to play some new decks. Courtesy of the brand new set release, I believe it was Soul Fusion, we have the retrain of the classic Thunder Dragon. And boy, was this a deck that a lot of people love. This deck's going to be around for a bit. Uh, Goki, I believe, gets neutered, uh, you know, both through power creep and through the ban list in multiple ways. But we'll get to that point when we get there. Anyway, uh, for those of you who don't know the original Thunder, Dragon. It's a classic GOAT format card that says discard this card, add up to two Thunder Dragon from your deck to your hand. So what they did is that all the retrain cards have similar effects where you can discard them to the graveyard and they activate some sort of effect to sort of centralize around that main gimmick of Thunder Dragon. So for instance, Thunder Dragon Dark is sort of just a direct dark upgrade to Thunder Dragon. As a quick effect, you can discard them to add a Thunder Dragon Dark from your deck to your hand. And then they each have an effect that if they are either banished or sent from the field to the graveyard, Graveyard. This one, Thunder Dragon Dark, allows you to add a Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand, except another copy of itself. Now, notably, each of the effects of these cards can only be used once once per turn. So you can only use only one or the other. Uh, you can't use both. So you have to be very selective with what you want to do. Then we have Thunder Dragon Hawk, which you can discard to special summon a Thunder Dragon that's either banished or in your grave. And if it's sent from field to grave or if it's banished, you get to sort of just mulligan, which is kind of nice. You just get to mulligan your hand by sending sh uh, cards from your hand, shuffling them into the deck and just redrawing the same number. Thunder Dragon Roar, you discard to add either a Thunder Dragon card that's either banished or in your graveyard to your hand. And then if it's banished or sent from field to grave, you get to special summon a Thunder Dragon monster from your deck, but in defense position, but you return it to your hand during the end phase. We also have Thunder Dragon Matrix, which you pitch just to target a Thunder monster to give it 500 attack. We'll talk about why that's relevant later. And if it's sent from field to grave, you can add another copy of itself from your deck to your hand. Now, all these electric effects galvanize around our two main boss monsters, Thunder Dragon Colossus, a very banned card, as well as Thunder Dragon Titan. Colossus, while you can fusion summon it, can be special summoned during the turn a Thunder Monsters effect was activated in the hand. So, basically all of them. Again, keeping with the theme of the original Thunder Dragon. It has an effect that cards cannot be added from the main deck to your opponent's hand except by drawing them, so it's literally a walking mistake. And then, if it will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish a Thunder Monster from your graveyard instead. Keep in mind, this will trigger the effects of your Thunder Monsters monsters because it doesn't matter where they get banished from. So if they're already in the graveyard, this not only is a way to, you know, sort of aim for your end boards, but also is an advantage engine as well. Titan uh, also can be fusion summoned, but you can special summon in a similar way, except by banishing a thunder monster from your hand and a thunder fusion monster you control, except a copy of itself. So a little bit higher of a requirement, but it's a little bit bigger and has a different effect. When a thunder monster's effect activates in the hand, even during the damage step, you can destroy a card on the field, which is crazy. That, that, that's just the fact that it's not once per turn. If you have multiple effects you can fire, this is just ridiculous that you can just start popping stuff your opponent controls and it doesn't target, which is very important. To complement all this, we have Battery Man Solar, a new Battery Man card, uh, which is on normal or special, allows you to bin a Thunder Monster from deck to grave, which is great. And then if a Thunder Monster is normal or special summoned, you get to get a token to your field, which is Thunder, which allows you to help Link Climb. We have BLS in the deck because there's lots of light and dark synergy. One Denko Seca, because fun fact, this is a Thunder. I don't know why. We we have Gem Knight Amber to complement our triple copies of Brilliant Fusion, not summoning Seraphonite, but instead Gem Knight Prismara, which is a Thunder Fusion that we could potentially use for Thunder Dragon Titan, also helping us set up. We've got Triple Ash, we've got Triple Bell, and that does it for the monsters. We have Triple Gold Sark, which again, we can banish any of our new Thunder retrains. That triggers their effects. Triple Instant Fusion to get into Kaminari Attack, an OG Thunder Monster from Metal Raiders, the same set as Thunder Dragon, which will fulfill the condition for Titan, or we can use it for Link Material. And then we have Reborn and Thunder Dragon Fusion. So yes, even though we don't need to fusion summon our main boss monsters, there is still a fusion spell. This is a unique one though, because it actually shuffles the fusion materials listed uh, from the grave back into the deck. Uh, actually, you can do it from Banish as well, which is kind of sick. And during your main phase, except when that card was sent to grave, you can actually banish it to add any Thunder monster from your deck to your hand. So it's a fusion spell and a Rota all in one. That wraps up the main deck. Uh, in addition for the extra deck, we have Thousand Eyes because we're playing Instant Fusion just for some versatility. And then for links, we have a Borload, a Unicorn, a Link Rebo, some Summer Summoner, one of the funniest names and artworks in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Uh, it requires Thunder Monsters, and honestly, this is just used to get us zones. You're going to try to see us summon multiple copies of Colossus, because there's no restriction on summoning this, or like Colossus and Titan, so this gives us an easy way to get there. We can use that token from Battery Man Solar to do that very easily, and of course, we have an Underclock Taker. For the side deck, we have Double Denko for the back row decks. Medion the Time Lord is fucking hilarious, because it actually outs the Extra Link 
boards in a very unique way. Hopefully we get to show that off. Triple Mind Control, Double Twin Twister, Triple Imperm, and Double Rivalry of Warlords. So you're going to see quite a bit of Thunder. Uh, it undergoes multiple iterations and uh, evolves into actually quite a formidable deck later. Not that it already isn't, but uh, people start to figure out how to really push this deck to the limit and abuse it. So uh, we're going to be playing it in one of its purest forms, and one of the first forms, as a matter of fact, as the new cards got released. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Man, Joe, 2018 was... God, this has to be, like, the worst year for Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, just when you think it couldn't get worse, we get these decks. Uh, like, your deck is just the evolution of what we've seen over the past several months. My deck is another Floodgate Turbo deck. Like, I don't know how people stomach this. I could see why people would want to quit at this rate. It's crazy to be like, yep, uh, Goki Gumblar is rapidly approaching its final form, but don't worry, Colossus just came out. Like, oh, yeah, oh, good. Right. Hooray. And it's sad that it's sad that Colossus is part of like one of the four decks that a lot of people consider like one of the best formats around this time. To be fair, there's a lot of like decent outs to Colossus once we get to that point. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. We were, we're built different there. back then. We, we are getting yeah. there. Someday we will make it to toss. <sighs> Shout out the patron, Chandler Oja Oha. Thank you for the support. Apologies if I put you your last name. Joseph, you, you ready to win a, a die roll for one? Haven't done it in a while. Uh, <laughs> I've right. thrown it up. All right. I rolled a five. The <sighs> number of stars on Thunder Dragon Dark. Put up a two. Once again, I've just got to draw Woo! two names. Two fucking names. There you go. Baby. Two names. Is this the time where you're going to turn it around, Joseph? We'll, we'll the see. audience believes for all five of them that are still left watching this. Yeah, thanks, by the way. We appreciate your support. Jesus Christ! I gotta let you know, my hand fucking blows. My so. hand is... <laughs> this. I mean, I. there's no other way to say it. This is the best hand I've opened yet. <laughs> you ready? Go, let's see it. Normal suprex. Twist Cobra? Uh, not exactly. We have Octo. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's fine. That works, too. All right, um... Send them to the grave, baby. It's ice old time. There you go. Ice old effect, suprex effect, octo stretch effect. Yeah. We will grab head bat. Uh, we're gonna grab some stupid asshole. We're gonna pitch for head bat. What do you think? What's a good one? How uh, about bear hugs? Pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if you're still on him anymore. <laughs> oh, Alex. We're far beyond bear. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've, you've been taken over by the darkness. <laughs> oh, thank God, we're far beyond bear. Hug. That's all I'm gonna tell you. All right. Uh, so who's your who's your idiot off of uh, is old twist cobra, twist cobra or head bat? Yeah. Okay. Well, why did we ever call these idiots? That's such a good name. <laughs> well, you and I call almost every card we play with an idiot. So. Yeah. Like, let, I'm going to start doing that. The card that, like, okay. you can't activate for some reason is now the idiot. I'm sure we'll start a trend like we did with uh, Reaper format. I'm surprised you're taking time to think. You got the full combo. Would it behoove you to know the combo is actually so good? Wow. I'm like, <laughs> I'm consider. Oh, man. I'm considering doing it even better. Are uh, you? You're going further beyond... Uh, I think actually I'm coping is what I'm doing. Let's just be good. <laughs> oh, but I really could. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, instead of Twist Cobra and Headbat, we are gonna get, uh, as our idiot, Armageddon Knight. Okay. And as our Goki, we're gonna get Twist Cobra. And with the other Goki effects still getting rematched. Yeah, we still getting rematched. <laughs> I'm not crazy. All right, I sold. Yep. We're going to go Divine Sword Phoenix Blade and Living Fossil for Headbat. Sure. Ooh, he's switching up the combo. Oh, my God. Whoa, he's 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 stunting on him. All right, you're going to hate where this goes next, so I'm just, like, really sorry in advance. We're going to go Ice Old and Headbat for Summon Sork. Because she's still legal for some reason. And you know what's really cool? I am so... Ha oh, I do actually have a target for Headbat. We will grab Octo Stretch. There cool. we go. Okay, um, set, then activate the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigandine. Yeah. And then we're going to activate Summon Sork for Brig. Uh, we are going to summon out Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Oh, fuck off. You remember this card, buddy? I forgot we were on this shit. Yeah, uh, they were do, playing this last episode, I thought, what too. What are we working Something with, asshole? <sighs> fuck. I already know what you're going to pick. God damn it. I was waiting for the fucking Whoa! rematch. Oh! 
Yeah, wow, yeah, that's I had a pretty something. Good one, buddy. Oh, double I thunder dragon too. Damn, this is two cards off of a goat deck. Nice opener. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right, we'll take we'll take a spell. Sadly, the bell at the right time could have stopped you, really, and maybe we could have had a game. It could have really almost. We could have almost played Yu-Gi-Oh today, but thankfully almost. we don't have to. That was what I was agonizing over. I was like, what a fun line, maybe. Um, let's go uh, Phoenix it's worth Blade. it. Worth it. Uh, Are you going to finally do it, Joseph? Are you? And think about it. Dolphin already gets another card out of my hand. Yeah, I mean, that's... The idea is, because this deck can play through individual hand traps, yes, uh, you get to do that. Um, oh, sorry. I take damage from this, too. Yeah, so take, take five. five. Yeah. That was time not like it matters. I'm not going to have a hand. You know what's, like, so fucking annoying, by the way? If if I led Neospace Connector, you can actually Dolphin twice, and I could get yep. all six cards out of your hand. It's just so annoying. You could. So I think that's what, uh, you know, that's what a lot of people might remember from this time. Uh, time really is a circle, too. People just do this shit with Infernoble now. It's a now. bit of a same flat thing. fucking circle. Literally right, I'm the same I'm pitching Nessie. Thing. We're going to summon Dark Greffer. Uh, Nessie effect? Sure. We'll grab, I don't fucking know, a Jackalope. Why not? Huh? Yep. And uh, for the, for everyone watching, I should just concede at this point. No, that Joseph we're playing has it out. To do this in four episodes. <laughs> we're playing by OCG rules. No conceding allowed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, proxy dragon. Uh, dark Greffer effect. Yep. We're gonna pitch our dummy. We're gonna send the reason for the season, baby. Destiny hero malicious. This is the real reason you wanted to play this I deck. See, your heroes have never failed you. It's it's all been a long con. I played this dog shit deck four <laughs> matches in a row because I knew eventually I'd get to do this. Uh, summon Sork and Dark Greffer for Firewall. And let um, the games begin. And now the fun really begin. Okay, we actually I think literally cannot do that. Yeah, we're gonna go summon Sork in the Mali for Firewall, and the okay, Dark Greffer sure. is just gonna live in his little zone. We're we're just gonna summon the firewall over here. Let's go Mally for Mally. Um, <clears throat> these two for uh, Cerberus. Psych giving me shit about mermaid. playing goat. You're playing fucking Edison over here with I, Greffer I would Mally. Much prefer to play Edison. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give you. Uh, we're gonna go her one firewall two. I have her right here. Uh, we'll summon out. Um, Jackalope, I guess. Not that it really fucking matters even a little. It doesn't. You don't know what where, it's been like these my, past few episodes. Where's my pillow and blanket from uh, Jank that one right. week? <laughs> Firewall it up. Let's grab... Um, this might be... Honestly, when this goes live, this might even be the same week, actually. <laughs> yeah, let's just get, grab some guys back. Oh! You know what? I just figured it out. We'll Firewall back um, two cards, including Aqua Dolphin. Oh, thanks. Yeah, great. Uh, I think this is going to work out really well for you. Uh, we're going to go it? Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, Trigger Firewall, Summon Aqua Dolphin in defense. Uh, we're going to go uh, Banish for uh, the Sword. Uh, we are going to go Aqua Dolphin, pitch this. Uh, where are we working with here? Oh! Okay, it's the same cards as last time. It right, is. Let's take Thunder Dragon. Oh, just to be funny, how cute. I mean, we're going to get them all, so <laughs> let's go these two for Gumbles. Uh, we'll go Firewall for Octo Stretch. Let's go Sword. Set one. Uh, this for Link Rebo. Gumbles. Uh, let's go for two. Uh, you can roll them for me. Uh, like it's really going to matter. Uh, one closest to your deck and the middle. Okay. Well, you did hit the Phoenix Blade. Uh, let's grab two from you. Honestly, I just hope I hit a dark. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, and then we'll go uh, Link Haribo and Mermaid off for Phoenix. Um, and then we'll go Rematch, grab... Octo Stretch and fucking Twist Cobra. Uh, we'll go for the Phoenix Blade and uh, go ahead, Alex. Not Draw. so fast. We'll activate Link Haribo uh, and we will, uh, upon resolution, trigger Gumbles for two. You're proud of yourself? I'm a little uh, proud of myself. You're, I'm you're proud, proud of yourself that you finally, you finally got to pull it off? Uh, yeah, great game. Yeah, fun really game. Fun. That time. was a one card yeah. combo now. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, there you go, Goki enthusiasts. You finally got what you fucking wanted, and that is zero interactive gameplay. We've had so many episodes like this. It is just such a fun time. Uh, you know, you, you finally won a game one when you won the die roll, so there you go. I yeah, that's I'm good. real happy about it. I bet you are. I'm happy that my hand looks pretty solid. Uh, normal battery man solo. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's go. Uh, use the effect. I'm going to dump a copy of... Uh, we'll dump a roar. It's meant to go to the graveyard. Yeah. Uh, really infusion. Oh, shit. All right. Get rid of the good old gem knight amber. They're cool. <laughs> it's a thunder. And it is a thunder. Very important. It is a thunder. Uh, it's also an effect monster, which is probably more important than that. Uh, the other send isn't as important here, I don't think. I guess I'll just get a dark, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, we will go for the good old Gem Knight Prismora. <laughs> Okay. And uh, this will trigger our solar, so we will get a token. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go Gold Sark. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, banish Roar. Roar effect ad hoc. Yep. Let's go... I think the best way to do this. Prismora and the token, which is a thunder for some summer summoner. Hey. I'm going to pitch the hawk to target the Roar. Yep. Uh, and then we can... Use the roar to go for a colossus. Yep. Since we did pitch a thunder, uh, which was the hawk. Uh, put this in defense, actually. We're going to trigger roar. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the last of our main thunder dragon effects here. Uh, we're actually going to grab a good old thunder dragon matrix. Yeah. Uh, let's go matrix for colossus. That'll trigger matrix. I'm going to go... Uh, fuck it. Colossus and Matrix for Titan. Yep. And then we'll just get rid of... Eh, I guess he's better than Solar. Oh, we have to get rid of him. Extra Monster Zone. That's a thing. Uh, we'll just go for another Colossus. Yeah. Go ahead. Anything in standby? Unfortunately, no. Well, uh, this is a thinker. So for the uninformed, uh, or if you just skip the deck profiles like a lot of people do, uh, Colossus is a floodgate, which says cards cannot be added from the main deck to the opponent's hand except by drawing them. So it's a walking mistake with 2,600, and that is a dual meaning on that term. Uh, and then if it would be killed by battle or card effect, I can just banish a thunder from the grave instead. Uh, Titan is similarly annoying, uh, except I can, if thunders just hit the graveyard, uh, when a Thunder Monster's effect is activated in hand, excuse me. Uh, I can just destroy a card on the field. Uh, and they're just all big. And considering every Goki wants to add a card to hand when it goes to the graveyard, this is pretty good. I got some plays. Uh, we're going to special Junk Forward. Normal Armageddon Knight. We'll try for the effect. Uh, that is fine. Okay. Did not think we would get that far. Um, now what the fuck are we doing? Uh, I guess I'll link these off for an Ice Hold. Uh, shh. Sure. Uh, I sold effect. Uh, I'm gonna pay one. Doing the first effect? Well, I can't do the first effect. Oh, that's right. That's I'd love right. to. You <laughs> if um, you'll allow thinking it. Then. Yes. Thinking then. Thinking oh, okay, then. Hold okay, on. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. I'm so used to you in the last seven episodes doing that first, and I forgot I have a Colossus up here. So what? You got a Mally? Yeah, I'll just I'll pitch Matrix. Uh, when we have open game state. The fun thing about Titan is that it is a when you can. So if I respond with something, it does not work. Uh, but I will not. That's fine. So I will pump any thunder monster. You know what? Let's give Battery Man Solar a bit more muscle here. Let's fucking go. Uh, and then uh, we'll trigger Titan. We'll just pop his old. Okay. You got Mally. You've already normal. So. I know. Now I've got to think. All right. We're going to reborn targeting Ice Old. Can't play around that. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's go Ice Old Effect here. Uh, we are going to send... Oh, God. Sure. God, we've got so many good ones, but they all fucking add. Uh, we'll just send one. On res rivalry. Yo! <laughs> That's fine. We needed more floodgates, Joseph. We needed more floodgates. I will be chilling on warriors. Wow, that's disastrous. Holy fuck. Yeah, nice unicorn, idiot. Damn, I really had... I, I outed this board, if not for the yeah. fucking rivalry. You did. Yeah. Doesn't that suck? Yeah, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> uh, what do you do here? You switch your guys to attack and you kill me? Yes, that's, pretty that's much. Not, that said, yeah. I don't know how much I can do about it because I have no warriors in my extra deck. Damn, I fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh. 
<laughs> this is a great episode. Um, For what it's worth, I cannot kill you with this current board. Use your imagination a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Pretty damn close. Uh, I'm going to... Hear me out. Just summon Mally defense and Walt. Yeah! Uh, that's, that's the plan. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Maybe if you get another turn. Uh, standby mate. This effect of Matrix goes away. I forgot to use the, the, the little attack gain thing. I forgot we have that. All right. Can we just kill you now? Actually, with that being the draw, we might be able to. Pitch roar. Oh, God. Get back dark. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, trigger Titan Pop is old. Yeah. Pitch dark. Uh, add dark. Yeah, you got it. Trigger Titan. <laughs> uh. This has been a good episode. You know, it's interesting, Joseph. When both of us just play decks that let the other person do what they want with no interaction, we actually get to show off what they do. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't gonna be showing off shit for this game three. Magical Midbreaker Field. Fuck yeah. Uh, uh, this hand is actually really fucking bad. <laughs> okay. All um, right. I'm glad to hear it. Is there anything we can do here? What are What am I trying to do? Why is he not playing one more equip? That's my favorite part about history is when we pick decks or even in jank when people send us decks and we're like, oh yeah, we know this deck. And it's like a version of the deck that isn't what we remember. And then we're like, why are they not playing this? Like, you know, they're the ones that topped or won whatever event and we're the ones critiquing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can still make it work. All right. Um, normal Aqua Dolphin. <sighs> yeah. You know, I actually don't even know if I'm normaling Aqua Dolphin. You know, surprisingly there is. Um... We're just gonna chill. We're just gonna have a good time together. Uh, Shade Brick. Sure. Instant Fusion. Uh, we will grab Raijin. Yep. These are two warriors. They are two warriors. Uh, I sold effect to search. I don't know. I mean, fucking who cares, right? <laughs> I wish there was like a big guy. We'll get Greffer. You know, a guy that you'd want to give a hug to. Uh, no, we're. <laughs> Thankfully, we are far beyond <laughs> that type of shit. Uh, okay. Um. Ice hold effect. Gonna send one, I think. Try it. Try what? Ash Blossom? Fuck off. Come on. Yeah. You know, we had to try. Yeah. And now you're going. Fucking call by and magical mid. Yeah, this is such it's, bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's. I'm not gonna pretend like it's not bullshit. It is legitimately quite bullshit. God. We'll just do the one for Octo Stretch. I think we actually have a Link Curry in here now. Yeah. Although that fucks up Summon Sork, so we will not do it. These two to the grave for Summon Sork. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Octo Stretch for fucking who cares, um, honestly. Headbat, I guess, theoretically, I could get to a position where Headbat happens. No, it's never happening in a million years. Uh, let's just grab Suprex because he's big. Yep. Uh, normal Summon Aqua Dolphin. Yep. Uh, Aqua Dolphin Effect, Pitch Dark Greffer. Uh, you wanna you wanna <laughs> run something by me, champ? Sure. What's the Mataion do it in the grip? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the Mataion. I'm not gonna that's, worry about that's it. That's my problem. That's the uh, that's the that's what I'm taking. <laughs> Let's get that guy out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll take five. Uh, summon sword. Be happy to know there's two more in the deck waiting for you. Yeah, I'm I'm not very happy at all to be honest. Uh, we'll go Armageddon Knight. Hey, is this guy mistiming? <laughs> Could you imagine? Wolf. Uh oh. We have a problem. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, you have full hand knowledge and you're almost, even if you don't have full combo, you're probably winning. There we go. We no longer have a problem. All right. Um, this is kind of weird. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about? This ain't weird at all. Uh, these two. That's the what grave. I'm thinking. We're going to grab Serb. Mally. Going to summon Mally. These two to the grave for Firewall. Let the shenanigans begin. Uh, the my favorite part about this one is that it's just so fucking fun. Yeah, right, so fun. We're gonna go. I think I can do this. Mermaid one, firewall two. Yes, you can. Doesn't seem like I should be able to do it. I mean, you pitch for mermaid first, though. I maybe don't even activate mermaid. <laughs> maybe just mermaid's cause. Maybe just go firewall. Yeah, I think that's actually the play. Just firewall. Okay, we don't. I don't need mermaid. She's nothing to me. Do we have an octo stretch in rotation? We do. Yeah. These two for oh this is oh this is Grody. Ugh. I just realized what I'm gonna have to do here. I have to firewall for one. That doesn't feel good. No, it really does not. 
minutes. Because I won't have monsters in hand to proc the firewall otherwise. Yeah. yeah. But uh, since yeah. I do, I just get to do this infinitely. Uh, You know, one, two. Come on, Twist Cobra. I mean, you could have Mallied first if you wanted to. Well, Mally doesn't do it because I it's the material in hand that I need to be able to cycle. Oh, uh, right. Uh, This is like the... <laughs> The lamest version of this combo of all time. But uh, it'll still work. It, you know, it may still work. Uh, one, two. Uh, let's grab headbat. And then special the headbat. One, two. We'll grab. Or rather than specialing headbat. Let's. Oh, get that fucking guy back. And grab. Rather than specialing headbat, let's special Octo Stretch here. Mm -hmm. Go. Link Karibo. Uh, one, two for Gumble. Oh, we should be, where's the sword? What the fuck? Did I just declare I sold and resolve it and never do the sword? That explains why I couldn't discard for what's her name. Oh, God damn it. Okay. We'll go Gumble here. Um, I may have fucked this one up. Yeah, this is not ideal. Uh, oops. We'll go... Firewall to summon Headbat, and I only get one here. Oh, only one? How sad. Well, I was supposed to get two, but I never sent Phoenix Blade to the graveyard to resolve the effect of the mermaid. Boy, doesn't that suck. All right, I pick. Yeah, you pick. Well, this fucking Imperm's not doing anything under Midbreaker Field. Yeah, I should so. hope not. Uh, let's go these two. Oh, shit. God, I've really been doing my best to throw this one. You have. Yeah, wow. Granted, I think you're still going to win because my hand's terrible. I'm, I'm trying my hardest, buddy. Let's let's summon this guy back. We'll go Mally. Mally's in here too. I just don't have object permanence. Today. Yeah, I even told you he's in there. Yeah, you did. Uh, we have one more of him. Uh, we're gonna go. That was your last one. Yeah. Phoenix here. Headbat for my friend. Um, rematch. Yep. Um, let's go Phoenix for mermaid. Go grab this young lady. This guy for the sword. Mm -hmm. But we got to get Ebly off because we don't otherwise have a way to do this. We'll send both of these for... Wrongs. Oh, no, you could put it there. Never mind. Yeah, it's just not very good. Um, Let's just go rematch. Well, it's the wackest board I've ever made in my entire life. It's really not good. Wow. Go ahead. Draw. We'll get two of them at least. Uh, you will get none. You got a bell? Well, you'll get one because I can imperm the gum lord. Well, not with a midbreaker field. It's main phase, sir. We're in draw phase. Oh my God. I'm getting outplayed. <laughs> sure. I got it to be honest with you. I don't think it's going to fucking matter. <laughs> Here's my play. You ready? Yeah. Normal solar. Yeah. Pitch dark. Uh-huh. Add dark. Yeah. Make Colossus. Oh, we're chilling. <laughs> Make Titan. <laughs> uh, it, has to be a non, it has to be a non fusion. What do you mean? Doesn't Thunder Dragon Titan say non fusion? It's a thunder monster from my hand and a thunder fusion monster I control. What am I thinking of? Um, that's I fine. don't know what you're thinking of. He's here. Yep. Uh, Nagi's going to fucking do a whole lot. He does a little. Right. Would you like to trigger Firewall? Uh, I do not have targets. Okay. This may uh, battle. <clears throat> yep. uh, you have Link Karibo, so this literally does nothing. So I guess I will attack Link Karibo. I will activate Link Karibo. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was fun. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, stand by me. You got a guy. Uh, sort of. Um, living Fossil targeting Octo Stretch. Sure. Uh, send these two off for fucking eye salt. Yeah. Uh, we'll trigger the headbat. Maybe. And we'll trigger the ice hold, maybe. Headbat does have a target. Ice okay. hold also has a target. Uh, this guy, right? Underclock taker, target your titan. Very fucking funny. Yep. I mean, it still doesn't really out the titan, right? Well, the last guy in here doesn't do a goddamn thing. Oh, wait, I actually have the out. Um... Oh, you had the out. Don't <laughs> worry. You didn't even have to go that far. Wait, what was the out? The out was oh, yeah, he kill doesn't it in have battle, battle protection. It's, uh, it's protection. Of, it's protection That's effect so is only funny. by card um, effect. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Did I well, <laughs> get me out of this. Uh, even though I played like a monkey, we were able to finally win with Goki.
This sucked, yeah, man. Okay, so first and foremost, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about Dark Warrior. I talked about it in the deck breakdown, of course, but this is kind of final form. You can see that I went through fucking 15 cards in that game, my entire extra deck. Uh, no space is wasted. Yep. Uh, Gabe is a genius, and this list reflects it. Uh, every single card is like one of the most frustrating cards that Yu-Gi-Oh has ever printed. Um, Dark Greffer for Mali, Armageddon Knight for Mali. People were playing like Vion for Mali during this period. Like there was ar yep. there was an argument that a hero lives was too powerful to be unbanned, right? Because like you could theoretically Stratos to it. Theoretically, every single spell card specifically exists to reduce interaction. We're playing Midbreaker Field, obviously. We're playing Called By out of the board. We're playing Red Reboot. We're playing uh, just everything you possibly could, and it's just so frustrating to enter a game being like well i opened three hand traps but they all might be offline which is exactly what you did game two yep. um or game three was you opened mataion yep. a piece of non-engine from the board imperm ash and i opened called by mid breaker and then a way to discard so i won really awful awful deck i mean and this comes on the heels of a ban list so like when people thought that they were gonna have to endure another format of gumblar i mean <laughs> woof yeah, not to mention, uh, and I think I sort of said this in the last episode as well, but I feel like it deserves being reiterated in case uh, people didn't watch that episode and they're watching this one instead. People yeah. had to deal with this for months. And in, in our brief timeline, as we explore all the different formats in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I don't think we really do a good job of making you all suffer through how long people had to deal with this. And uh, just imagine the worst format you've endured, and then uh, imagine just Gumblar being the, the linchpin of that whole thing. So it sucks. Uh, you know, no one likes not being able to actually play the game. Uh, and there's multiple ways that Yu-Gi-Oh! does a wonderful job of uh, doing that, where whether it's ripping your whole hand apart, whether it's making an unbreakable board, of like 900 negates or just straight up FTKing you by actually draining your life points to zero. It seems like 2018 just had it all. So like pick your flavor of FTK. Uh, this year seemed to have offered it. This deck though, Thunder, is not going to be going anywhere anytime soon, as a matter of fact. Uh, not really too surprising considering that uh, as we get, you know, new sets, new cards, you know, ban lists and the like, uh, that is how Yu-Gi-Oh! evolves. And we got to see, you know, what this deck does really well uh, in the, like, three turns that we actually played this episode. Uh, in the second game, as a matter of fact. Uh, pretty consistently, it was able to summon just several giant, uh, just fusion floodgate monsters, as well as a piece of interaction. And uh, they're just, they're big at the end of the day, and they have built-in protection from being destroyed either by battle or card effects, or both, depending on which uh, fusion the card is. And uh, this won't be the last time we see Thunder Dragon. Uh, Thunder Dragon's going to amalgamize into a... Uh, Another deck that people just get very frustrated to play against uh, with some of the cards that you were yeah. playing, as a matter of fact, the Dangers. Uh, I'm just playing graveyard, Nessie and Jackalope, uh, but yeah. It took a while for people to uh, sort of cobble the deck together. I think we needed a couple more cards for it to get there. But in any case, um, first form Thunder Dragon is yeah. still a pretty strong deck just because the boss monsters are so easily accessible. Uh, for them trying to retrain a classic card in Yu-Gi-Oh! like Thunder Dragon, it is really I would say funny they did a wonderful back, job. Um, though I did hand loop you games one and three. Uh, both of your opens, those games, were kind of dog. Like, they were okay, but didn't really do anything. Um, the heart and soul of this deck is, of course, Brilliant yeah. Fusion. And uh, as people, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. pivot more towards uh, combo styles, uh, Thunder Dragons is like these chaos extenders. Uh, the deck becomes very successful. Um, but that doesn't mean that the Colossus build ever really goes away. This like impressive Sky Striker matchup, plus like the ease of access in simplified board states to cards like Thunder Dragon Colossus, uh, made it kind of a mainstay of the meta um, for a long time. Uh, all that had to happen first was this stupid deck that you're currently looking at uh, had to go to hell. And it will shortly, don't worry. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play MBTPlayMadolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Helios515, I tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio players soon, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, and Peyton McGrath. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next.